Um, you'll notice that I was not exactly accurate to the grid. So what I want to do is something called quantizing. Quantizing is telling the computer, snap to the grid. Well, what grid do I want it to snap to? Remember, we have all of this stuff down here. You could put 64 of these little boxes in one measure. That's very confusing. It's very handy if you're going to do some very fast techno fills or some heavy metal double bass drum work, but it's very, very, very confusing. So the grid actually exists there in the background. You don't actually see it, but it does exist there in the background. So if I wanted to quantize this and I wanted, I've played eighth notes, I want them to be eighth notes. I come down here to where it says quantize note timing. I select the note that I want to quantize to. So I played eighth notes. What am I going to select? Eighth notes. You got it. So I select eighth notes and look at that. Bam. It changed. Okay. So I've quantized the first measure to the eighth note. So let's take a listen to what it sounds like. Now these are not quantized and you can hear that they're off. So I can come back in and I can quantize. Now, I want to show you why is it, first of all, the note lengths when you're dealing with drums don't really make a difference. This, this little tick sounds the same if I make it this long or if I make it this long. Now, this is the actual length of an eighth note, and this is the actual length of an eighth note. Just so you know, this, remember, rhythm means duration of sound. How long do I hold a note before I get to the next note? Some instruments will not sustain a sound. That will. Some bass drum work will sustain a sound. Some other drums. But for our purposes with drums, it does not matter to me if this is a little over the measure or if it's very short like this right now. It doesn't matter. It will matter when we get to working with melodic figures, and we'll deal with that later. If you have a little bit of OCD and you have a little issue and you want everything to be absolutely perfect, knock yourself out. Is there a way to do this automatically in GarageBand? No, there is not. There is a way to do it in other software, but this is free, so it has its limitations. So if you really feel that you want this to be exactly perfect, go ahead and do that. I don't feel that you have to have that, okay? So let's take a look a little further down and see, well, miss, how come I can't just select it all right here and just quantize to the 64th note? Can someone tell me why I can't do that? Because remember, it's going to snap to a grid. So if I quantize the 64th note, where is it going to go? To the note. Good for you. It's going to go to the nearest 64th note. Now take a look. Watch those little green things move. Did they move a lot? No. So they moved to what would have been the nearest 64th note. Now even though I don't have this grid set, and I'm not looking at the little teeny increments, they're there. They're back there. This is just for my visual reference. So remember, if I want them to be eighth notes, what am I going to quantize to? The eighth note. Very good. Awesome. So when you play eighth notes, quantize to the eighth note. And I really recommend that you do not select everything and quantize to the eighth note. I've been doing this for 30 years, playing drums and percussion. I could probably get very, very close that I could play quarters, eighths, and sixteenths all in one measure and quantize to the 16th, and it's going to be perfect. You guys should quantize, take your time, learn about quantizing, learn about playing to the click as close as you can, and choose whatever note you intended to play. A quarter, if you wanted it to be a quarter, quantize to the quarter. If you wanted to play eighths, quantize to the eighth, etc., etc.